New York City is the US's biggest city with some of the biggest buildings, but today we're gonna be looking at its smallest museum. What's up amigos, it's John coming to you from New York and I am on the outskirts here of Chinatown in front of this really sketchy alley. I'm gonna check out a really weird and kind of quirky thing in New York. It's called Museum and it's billed as the smallest museum in the city. I'm gonna bring Adriana in and get her opinion on this. We've been to a lot of different places around the world. What do you think about the smallest museum? Uh, I don't know what to expect, but I want to see it. I have to say it's probably like the one place I would not expect to find a museum. It's just a random alleyway in Chinatown. This is it. So this museum right here is the size of an elevator shaft. Well, let's see how much fun it can pack into a small space. I've invested a lot of money into this weave and it saved my life. All sorts of random stuff. And you can uh, call a phone number to find out more about what we're looking at. Doctors found and removed a top denture which has been embedded in her mouth for many years. I'm curious about the bra. The bra? <laughs> All right, let's 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 dial the number and find out more about the bra. Seven two zero six. Bra, Guangzhou, Guangdong Province, China, two thousand fifteen. Doctor Han, a physicist of a local university, believes the underwire of her bra diverted the bolt from her vital organs. All right, now we're gonna get to the bottom of this Bible. Somebody definitely got shot. In France, nineteen seventeen. One bullet was stopped by the Bible. The other ricocheted and passed through Wilfred's collarbone. Number. Saved by the Bible. <laughs> Donald Trump's aftershave bomb. That's beautiful. Apparently this guy got struck by lightning while using a selfie stick. You don't have a selfie stick, do you? This is Allison. She works here and I mean there's so many random items. Which one's your favorite? So my favorite this season is actually test writing. It's right here behind me. You can see that someone went to different pen stores and took the notepads that people were testing out all of the different pens before they actually purchased them. And they're from all around the world. Uh, New Zealand. Yeah. Um, they're all from different countries. Belize. Just people testing pens from different parts of the world. Yeah, like you know, before you actually want to like, yeah. buy like a nice pen. Yeah. And now I'm in front of the second exhibit for museum, and these are all just items that Cuban people used. And I did a great series in Cuba. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And this is all stuff from Cuba in display right here in New York City. I'm so excited to find out more about this. Cubans became prolific inventors, wasting nothing, fixing and making everything. So this is how they had to create a Batman mask in Cuba in the 90s. It's a Coca-Cola bottle they cut out to make a glass. Would you recommend your friends come here if they visited New York? Absolutely. Like, it's everything, the whole experience. Since you walk here, you, you, know, you don't imagine that you're going to find a museum right here. And then you don't, ima you don't expect to get a small museum. All right, all done. There is a $5 suggested donation for museum, but it's up to you if you want to give money or not. I know I definitely did. This place uh, packs a lot of punch into a small little area. You can call in on your phone, as I showed you before, to get information about all of the exhibits there. You could totally spend 15 or 20 minutes just wandering around. All right, guys, be sure to subscribe to Here Be Bar if you haven't already. Give me a like and certainly leave me a comment telling me if you like this sort of content. I've got one month left in New York until the big trip, and I've got a whole lot of things in store. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Let me know when you're ready. You're definitely, you're ready, you're ready.